Today, I'm going to talk on the World Environment Day. We celebrate World Environment Day on June 5th. It is one of the principal vehicles for encouraging awareness for protecting our environment. Held in 1974, it is a social platform for raising awareness issues on pollution, deforestation, and global warming. It is also a public platform for participating of over 143 countries, each program of the governmental, non governmental, and communities. So protection is necessary. If we protect our environment today, we'll be protected by it tomorrow. Earth is our mother, not our enemy. World Environment Day is also known as the World Echo Day. Thank you. You seem to be tired. Here, have some water. Thank you. You don't realize how much this means to me. You saved my life. What's wrong, my dear friend? The radiations from the telephone towers that you humans have built has disturbed my senses and I have lost the ability to navigate. I want to go back home to my children. They have been hungry for days now. Oh, we are so sorry. But we will try our best to help you. I appreciate it. That is a very noble thing to do. Here, take these mangoes as rewards for your good work. Thank you. Thank you. So, what species are you? Um, we're humans? 
Impossible. Humans are vicious and selfish. They are nature's worst creatures. They destroy other creatures to fulfill their greed. There are good humans as well, you know. Well, if that's true, in 107 years I've lived in this forest, I'm seeing a good human. Why do you hate humans so much? Humans have hurt my friends so much. This place was never so empty. It was filled with green trees. The humans chopped them down. I too had many friends around here. But man pulled their roots off them, chopped them down and scorched them inside. I don't know how long they will let me live. Oh, it is so depressing to listen to your story. But we promise you, we both will plant a sapling each once we go home. Oh no, it's a tiger. No, no, I won't kill you. You will kill me just like how your people kill my family. Humans kill tigers? Yes, just because we ventured into your village. But why did you leave the forest and come to the village anyways? Do you think it was our fault? We had no choice. It was you humans who destroyed our forest. And also you people hunt us for our skins. This is how I lost my family, my friends. Now I have nobody with me and nothing left. Humans have been really cruel towards you. I apologize on behalf of them. Yes, and we will ensure that we won't harm you. Don't worry. I'm feeling so thirsty. Why don't we drink some water from this river? Yes, that's a good thing to do. Oh no, the water is so dirty. How are we going to drink it? It's so unhygienic. Sorry, dear children, I did not have any clean water to quench your thirst. Sorry, we just wanted to drink water. But you can tell us what happened. All the people who visit the forest throw garbage into me. It is so painful to get contaminated and see my fishes and other animals suffering. The waste from the industries, the disposal of chemicals and the dumping of garbage pollutes me heavily. My children, my fishes are choking in the polluted water. I'm so sorry. It's so devastating to hear about your condition. I feel really ashamed that the humans are committing such hideous crimes. We will do our best to help you. Come on, Amrita. Let's clean this place. has provided us with abundant resources and luxuries, but we have polluted and exploited it. Let us all stop using plastic. Let us all stop wasting water. Let us stop wasting paper and plant a sapling each. Let us do our small bit to avoid a greater disaster, because we do not inherit the earth from our ancestors, but we borrow it from our children. Namaste. My name is Kriti and I am going to be reciting a poem regarding World Environment Day. The beauty of Mother Nature is beautiful to behold. It is our responsibility to keep it as pure as gold. Stop killing the old trees that have given us so much. We can never repay them back. Their sacrifices are such. The forests and the oceans alike have sheltered a variety of wildlife. Stop hunting those poor creatures. They keep our ecosystem alive. Mother Nature has given us food, shelter and air. Let us protect our mother before she becomes completely bare. Let us all join hands and save our earth. Keep your greed aside and put nature first. Thank you. Namaste everybody. 
I'm Argomati from Great Tennessee and today I'm going to recite a poem that I've written about the mother nature. Save the glorious nature because it's a future. Just don't cut the trees for furniture. The nature is the best teacher. Separate the garbage or it will become a damage. So come on, let's manage like the stone age. If you make the nature angry, it will make you hungry. Gorgeous nature is a magical fairy. The beauty of the nature is becoming temporary. Let's proceed to make it permanent before it turns violent. If you want permanent human settlements, then save the environment. Thank you. Nature, a wonderful mystery. What gives you happiness? Watching the sun shine, a wet soil which smells divine. Appreciate and thank the little things, like how nature has given birth, delicate and pretty wings. What a mystery about how cats can be so quiet and how eagles can fly at such great heights. Things exist on earth. It takes years for trees to turn mature. After all, it's all the gift of nature. Now, nature is in the verge of getting destroyed. If not saved, it might ruin and die. Save it before it's